Hello YouTube, this is Pyromania here, and today I'm going to start a batch file programming series in which I don't only program batch, I program in multiple languages, but this isn't going to be like those beginning tutorials because I'm going to assume you already have a background in batch programming, um, and just, you know, basic knowledge of commands and stuff. So I'm going to teach you how to make a little uh, delayed button input. So we're going to start out with making the button part. Um, don't worry, there's not any fancy coding to here. Uh, we're going to use VB script for the button. So we're going to type in x equals msg box, parenthesis this. And we're going to type in what's going to be said in our box. So we're going to say press OK, print, uh, quotation. We're going to say comma, type in 48. Or if you know the VB script error messages, you can type in a certain number. Then we're going to type in more quotations, and we're going to type per permission and quotation mark, and that's just going to be the title, like this is untitled notepad, and done. So now we're going to save this as uh, message.vbs. It could be whatever, you just gotta remember the name and save and you gotta make sure to save it as in the same directory as the next file we're going to make. So that's done. Let's test it out. So when we press this, see, it says permission in title, press OK, and 48 is this little error message. Works perfectly. Now, um, let's try. Now we start on the batch file part. So we're going to say add echo off, because yeah, we're going to say start. And here I'm going to demonstrate changing the colors of the CMD screen every time you press that OK, because that OK delays it. So here we have our trusty little command prompt console, and we want to see what the colors are. Uh, so we're going to type this in, press enter, and it's going to give us our colors right here. So if you know how colors work, then it should be easy. We're going to use blue and red, and I'm going to have it alternate between those two. So blue is 1, and red is 4. So that should be enough. So then we're going to say oops, color 10. Then we're going to type in msg.vbs. Make sure that this is um, that that is in the same name as that little message box that you just made. And then we're going to type in color 40. Then msg.vbs because it's just going to alternate. Then go to start. So that should be done. Let's save it. Now we're going to now we're going to um, type in color dot bat. And that should make a batch file right here. And when we open this up, notice that it will um, open up the little message box that we put. And this just delays it till the next command. So right now it's at blue when it's delaying it from changing to red. We press this, it changes to red. How cool is that? So it just changes like that. Um, don't don't be worried if it's like an infinite loop. You just close this, and that should be okay. Um, but say you want to do a more or a different function. It's the same basic idea. You would just go like this, msg.vbs, and you would type in something like, let's open command prompt. So let's say start, or you know what, better yet, not command prompt, notepad. And we would say control S, close that. We would open this up, and this could even stay minimized. You press OK, and check that out. Uh, notepad opened up when we press that and oh how strange it doesn't continue until you press that so huh now you can even make a program run just by closing it oh that's interesting so now we know something else which I'm actually thinking let's test that out shall we so now we have this and we would go back to the coding and we'd have this so let's do that whole color change so color 10 Notepad color 40. Notepad, save that, and we're going to open up this, and you'll be able to see here that that's that. And I'm going to bring this down, bring this up. So we close this. See, every time this closes, it changes colors. So now this could even be used for um, making sure that if it closes, then it won't truly close, which would be good because now you can have uh, multiple programs running and you, every time that program closes, you can have the batch file open that up again. So 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.